Hey everybody, so super fun. We are here, it is actually a cold day, but the, but it's sunny out, which is nice. So Benny's here, home from daycare. <laughs> mean muggin, uh, he's my little sidekick. <laughs> we are gonna go check on all the animals, do our rounds. Um, I'm gonna show you around the farm a little bit, and then we are going to move our chickens into the tomato greenhouse today to help fertilize and, uh, well, chickens are like little garbage disposals, right? So they're gonna eat some of the vines um, and things, the weeds, all of that that were left in there, and then they will naturally help us fertilize the soil. So um, this is actually a process that we um, were visiting with Adam from Perry Permaculture this past season and he said that he does it and um, his plants always thrive and he really enjoys having this natural way uh, to fertilize and turn over his gar garden in the greenhouse for a new year. So we're gonna give it a go, right? That's how you learn. Um, by networking and trying new things. So we're gonna put both of those to the test and move our chickens. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a, a wild ride today. So <laughs> here we go. Right, so this is our tomato greenhouse that we use all summer long. We actually had tomatoes this past year by the 1st of July, which is crazy in Michigan. So uh, super fun. We do regular slicers in here, but we also do romas. So this greenhouse help, helps us um, start our season, harvest season early with tomatoes, but it also extends it. Um, this year we stopped picking in here late October-ish. We could, definitely could have kept going. It was warm enough in here, but we kind of just let it go. Um, and we left the doors open. And by the time we got our first good um, freeze, it had actually killed all of these plants so um, if we had decided that we wanted to extend our sales for longer uh, we definitely could have kept harvesting and, and kept going but once I had got my canning done um, we were on to other things and we were quite busy prepping for our Halloween stuff so we just let it go so now we are going to let the chickens have a heyday in here eat all the tomatoes eat um, the vines all of this um, They'll start on the ground and as they start cleaning things up, we will tackle row by row. You can see that we use these little clips to trellis. So we will be taking these down um, and saving these. And then our strings, you can see in here, we can reuse these as well. So as we clean things up, we'll just wind these back up and everything uh, will be good as new. 
We are actually going to transition it this year in this greenhouse to a little bit different um, setup. We have felt the past couple of years that our spacing was a little bit too close and when we get to harvest time because um, these get huge. So I'll show you. Um, this is actually a Roma plant and it has tripled in on itself. It's growing from the ground. It came up and down and then it's actually coming up again. So um, these get huge. So when you start sagging them, they run into the other plants and it's hard to get between the rows. Um, last year we just dealt with it because we like to cram as much, of, as much in here as possible. But to help um, with the health of the plants and prevent disease and bacteria in here um, and for optimal airflow, it is better to have the correct spacing. So we uh, ripped out all of the floor in here and we are going to get new it's like a very thick material i'll tag it in the comments below um, or the description so that you can see what we use and we cut the holes in there so year after year we're just planting in the same holes so the ground cover that we used last year we're just going to roll up put in the barn i'm sure we'll find another way to use it farmers save all right <laughs> but we're going to get a new floor and burn new holes and have some a little bit different spacing to help with um the plants and us being able to tend to them uh, so that's the greenhouse. That's our plan for next year. So we are going to get the chickens in here and watch how fast they demolish all of this. And then also, uh, while they're in here, they'll be naturally fertilizing the ground in here for us as well. So more to come. Where are you headed? Okay, you can bring it here. Benny, what are these? Are you chickens in here? What one? <laughs> Abel, what do you think about all this? Good. Yeah, can you pick up one of those chickens? Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Benny, you need help with your hat, sweet pea? <laughs> Bring it here, love. Good job. Oh, is that the first time you've ever held a chicken? Yes, right now. <laughs> hey, all right, guys. So, what did you think about today? Great. Good. It was fun. <laughs> With the cow. Yeah. Oh, the chickens made you a little nervous. A little bit. <laughs> Um, okay, so what's one new thing you learned in your chase today? That you can do this. That you can do this. Don't Go ahead, Benny. You can pet it. You don't want to put your fingers by their beak. Aw, they can't hurt you. And you can that put them you upside can, down. That you, that you can pet them like a doggy. Yeah. And you can hold it upside down. <laughs> Go ahead and pet them, Benny. Go ahead. Here, Benny, pet him. I'm gonna hold that one. No. Where are your cows? Okay, let's go find them. Come on. Come in.
You got things to fix? Um. <laughs> <laughs> We are excited to use this channel as a way to help, well, capture the journey on our farm, right? This is only our fourth year on the farm and we learn more and more every day. And the stuff that we're doing is just so neat and we are enjoying every minute of it and there's so much that we've learned already and have yet to learn. So this is a great way for us to be able to share that experience and journey over the years. Um, the 4-H program was one step in that and these chickens actually are the feature of the first class in January. So I'll put that in the description in case you wanna hop on over and see the classes that are coming up or how to register. But our main mission with the farm is to help educate in the world of agriculture. Not only are we learning ourselves, but we are excited to share this with others that just want to know um, maybe how to apply on a, a small scale on their own homestead or um, just enjoy it on ours, right? We do you pick of all sorts. We are always inviting the community in, whether it be pictures or to enjoy you cut flowers or uh, you pick produce. You know, we've got all these things going on so that the community can immerse themselves. Here, you can see Benny and Aspen, they're always running around together. But this will actually be the first you pick thing of our farm this uh, spring. This is an asparagus patch. All of that um, brown area that you see that was not tilled in, this whole area is asparagus. So we'll have lots of asparagus for sale that's pre-picked um, in bulk quantities even, but then we're also gonna open it up for you pick. So be sure to subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to learn more about. We are just so happy to have you here. So we hope that you tune in and help learn, grow, and thrive with us. Thank you for watching.